Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Impact Wrestling Genesis last night on Impact Plus and Fight TV. Good show. Over. Pretty predictable, I thought, you know, but hey, that's me. On my preview of the nine matches, I end up guessing correctly on seven of them. Which, hey, I was happy with that, seven out of nine. We had that Super X Cup returning, which was great. It had qualifying matches. So the four first round matches were Ace Austin versus Suicide, Blake Christian versus Casey Navarro, Cousin Jake versus Tavari, and Crazy Steve versus Trey Lamar. Um, Ace Austin versus Suicide. Nice little match. Ace Austin has become quite the little, uh, quite the Impact Wrestling superstar. Um, he's kind of built himself up. I think he's gotten a lot better here in recent as he's been teaming with Mad Men Bolton. He's been on, his outside, on the outside. Um, so I love some stuff he's been doing in the ring. Um, so he ended up getting the victory there. I ended up giving it a three star. Uh, next up, superstar that I've been very excited about for a long time. Um, if you've followed the Robert Sports Show on social media, on at Rob's at Rob Sports Show on, on Twitter. Um, I've tweeted a lot of things about Blake Christian. Um, great young talent. Can't wait to see how his future it blossoms. Um, for him versus Casey Navarro. Now the little video package he put together for these four matches, um, having each wrestler kind of talk about themselves and kind of, you know, push themselves out there. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, Casey Navarro. We've seen him on on uh, <coughs> Impact Explosion. We've seen him some stuff on the Indies. Blake Christian. Um, the. the uh, He is just uber talented, you know. Um, the All Heart Blake Christian is his nickname. Um, so hearing him kind of talk about himself was kind of, was kind of different because he doesn't really talk much in Game Changer. So um, he beat Casey Navarro. Um, I think that match three star. Nice little match. It's kind of short. Obviously, these, these qualified matches will be a little bit shorter. Um, you had three, you had to wrestle three matches in one night, you know. So. Uh, next up, we had Cousin Jake versus Davari. Sean Davari returning to Impact Wrestling. Cousin Jake been teamed with the, with um, Cody Diener, part of the Diener's. Uh, Cousin Jake's also known as Jake Something and in other independent wrestling promotions. Um, so actually, I think he's uber talented. He's one of the guys I do follow. Um, I was actually thinking they would put Davari over on this one because of the name, but they gave Cousin Jake the victory, which I liked. Uh, it was a two and three quarter star match. It was actually a pretty good little match. Uh, next up, we had Crazy Steve versus Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar, he's kind of like the next generation of Lucha Libre stars, kind of like a, like, a, like a Blake Christian. Um, I also follow him with Game Changer and some other indie promotions. Uh, Black, Black, Black Label Pro Wrestling. Um, but yeah, Trey Lamar, great talent. Um, Crazy Steve and even victory. Not a huge Crazy Steve fan, but hey, the match was pretty decent. I'll give it two and three, four star. Um, the only match of the my predictions was I thought Tavari was going to be Cousin Jake. Everything else I've nailed so far. Then in the second round, we had Ace Austin versus Cousin Jake. That was pretty short, um, pretty stable little match. I liked it. I ended up giving it two and three quarter star just because it wasn't that long. Um, Ace Austin getting a victory. Next up, we had another semifinal match. We had Blake Christian versus Crazy Steve. Blake Christian, what more can I say? Uh, when he starts doing 450s and flippies and all this stuff, which I'm a huge Lucha Libre fan, you know, Will Ospreay, um, the Modern Machine, Machine Guns, Free Phoenix, you know, Kenny Omega to a point, the Young Bucks, you know, these, these guys go out there and do the, you know, dives and all that, that's just what I'm all about. Um, I've done it on here multiple times. Um, I compare Blake Christian to a younger Will Ospreay. Um, I see the same kind of career progression as Will, the way Will Ospreay and even Kyle Fletcher to a point. When he started off the real, you know, young, flippy kind of, you know, Will Ospreay put on some muscle, put on some mass, became a heavyweight, still doing that kind of stuff. Because you know what, your career as a Lucha Libre star, doing some of the dives that they do, you only go so far. Um, so yeah. I'd love to see Blake Christian sign with Impact. I think that'd be a good stepping stone for him. Even going to New Japan and doing stuff, a combination of both, oh, would be great. So, with Blake Christian getting the win there, three-star match. 
Uh, that leads the finals to Blake Crush and Ace Austin, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. Then we had a women's match. We had Jazz versus Jordan Grace. Um, Jazz coming out of retirement because Jordan called her for the Impact Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. <sighs> then losing in the semifinals to Havoc and Nevea and now and Jazz wanting to retire or going to retire or whatever. And Jordan Grace said she wanted a match against her, so they put this match together. It was okay. Um, she has obviously 48 year old. She's past her prime. No offense, um, but she really is. Jordan Grace is in her prime. Um, Jordan Grace got the victory just kind of like I thought they, she would. I might end up giving it two and three quarter star. So good match, watchable match. Um, so yeah, Jordan Grace kind of moving on here. Next up, we have the finals for the Super X Cup. We had Blake Christian versus Ace Austin. Yeah, they give this match some time. Match was really good. Um, Ace Austin is turning into a really great wrestler. Um, I love big thanks for him. Um, he beat Blake Christian. I ended up giving him a match three and a half. And I'm fine with him beating Blake Christian because you know what? Blake Christian now got some eyes on him that it wasn't on him before. He's had four matches now with Impact Wrestling. Th Tuesday night Impact, the three here. Hopefully Scott Demore and the executive and then back saw something to bring him in to do more. Love to see him stepping stone as the X-Ways champion and on up. Hopefully this is not the last match we see with Ace Austin and Blake Christian. Um, then we get to our main event, the I Quit match. Moose versus Willie Mack. To understand the way this match ended, you have to go back. About, what, three to four months ago, maybe a little bit longer, Moose pulls out of the trash TNA World Heavyweight title. Sees TNA World Heavyweight title. We all know TNA changed the impact. He says he's the TNA World Heavyweight Champion. He starts defending this belt. His goal is to get an Impact Wrestling World Title Show. He defends his belt against Willie Mack. Willie Mack just happens to be best friends with the Impact World Champion Red Swan. So Willie Mack and Moose have a match, it was, final, it was a final resolution I believe it was. Um, and I don't remember how, I think Moose ended up winning a no contest or something. So the feud kind of continued, so he made this I Quit match. Moose and Willie Mack put each other through the ringers. I mean literally, they, they tried to kill each other. Moose did this kind of sit down type powerball thing off the top rope to a table, which was like, oh, that hurt. Hurt both. Um, at one point, Willie Mack started bleeding. It's like, whoa, you know, they kind of, you know, this was kind of the legit I quit kind of match. So they're fighting toward the end of the match, 20, like 20 some five minutes in. Um, they had a bunch of chairs in the ring. Moose had a chair around the neck of Willie Mack was getting ready to hit him with hit that chair with another chair, you know, the whole almost concerto kind of deal. Red Swan comes out, you don't want to do that, Moose, you don't want to do that, don't do that to him. Swan gets in the rain, talks to him. And so, and he's like, I wanna do it, I don't care. You know, I'm only after one thing. Red Swan goes, you know what? I'll give if you don't don't do it, I'll give you a world title shot. Just don't do it. Just don't hurt Willie Mack. Moose is like, so if I don't do that, you're gonna give me a world title shot. Moose was, yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it, it's all you, it's all I wanted, I quit, drop the mic and leave. I'm like, what? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it makes sense, Moose is after a world title shot, he's been an Impact World Heavyweight Champion, now he's going to face the Red Swan. obviously we don't know when that match is going to happen because it's hard to kill, we have Red Swan in a six-man tag versus the AEW World Champion Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with this and when they're going to do this and how they're going to get not have Moose win the title. I don't think Moose needs to be world champion in Impact Wrestling. If so, it doesn't make any sense. But okay, you know what? It is what it is. William Mack gets the victory. Moose said I quit, which is shocking to me. But he gets a world title shot. Um, I'm going to give him a match two and a quarter. Just the ending just ruined it for me. Um, so I was able to successfully pick, preview pick seven and nine matches of Impact Genesis 2021. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports show content.